Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jesse Warden here. Today we're going to talk about function arguments and rest parameters. Function arguments are the normal arrays, that the magical array of arguments that you get to all functions using the old school function declaration. Notice there are no variables here, but I can call add nothing and log out arguments. We'll log out this and we'll get arguments and note it's an object with numbers that index the items in browsers, you'll get an actual array. Arguments kind of means different things based on different platforms. But at the end of the day, it's an array that indicates the items. So for example, we can add one and two, and you'll see two items in here. The zero index is the one, and the one index is the two. It's the exact same thing as doing A and B, and we can print out A and B. and they both equal the exact same thing. It's just in a way that you don't have to define those and you get the flexibility to pass nothing or a lot of things. So for example, if we wanted to add an arbitrary amount of numbers, we could do A plus B and then return A plus B and this would work just fine. Adding one plus two equals three. But what if we wanted to pass a third item and then maybe sometimes use it? That's very unflexible. So instead what we can do is loop through an array and we'll just pass nothing and we'll use the magical argument and say, look, if we have anything, great, loop through it. Otherwise, just return a total, which starts off at zero. If we pass in one to two, it's going to give us three, as before. But we could pass in nothing, and it would just not even run the loop and give us zero. Now, I haven't talked about this in my arrow functions video, but this is gone when you convert it to arrow functions. So let me show you what I'm talking about. We'll convert this to an arrow function. And we will log out arguments. And you'll get two different responses in Node. We actually get the arguments to the Node script that we're running, right? The Node program, where if you were to copy paste this and put it in a browser console like Chrome, for example, we'll change this to console.log. And then you were to say add, you actually get a reference error that arguments isn't defined. Different options in different platforms. Node, you get the actual arguments to the scope that it's inherited from, from the script, whereas the browser, you get nothing. You could get something if this arrow function was defined inside of, right, another function. How do you get the same kind of functionality? Well, you can use something called rest parameters. So we'll say dot, 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 args. Now you could say arguments, but to, for the sake of clarity, I'm gonna call them args. Since an arrow function is shorter, I'm gonna shorten the name to args. Args can be whatever you want, it's a variable, but the key here is this dot, dot, dot. This says, hey, this is a dynamic array. So we're gonna change the log to args. Now you get an array in Node and you get the same exact thing in the browser. So if we paste it this time, say console.log, notice the dot, dot, dot. Now when we call add, voila, you get an array. And copy and paste the old code we had and simply change the arguments to the args array, or we could name this whatever we want, I'm just calling it args. And when we rerun Node, you get zero, and we can add an arbitrary number of arguments and it's flexible and can handle it and treats it just like before. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you use basic REST parameters to emulate the arguments array that you used to get in old school function declaration.